and welcome back to Baltic Esports League Season 1. I'm MV joined here by Gekons for the second match of the day. Vaz Sports versus Skin Lords. Yes. We already have the maps. We can check out the, ma the matchup right now. So Skin Lords, they have been playing real good. 4-0 at the moment. Yes. Definitely the case. But they have faced only Vortex and Baltic Elite. We yeah. could call maybe them like the... Some of the lower tier teams, maybe they are definitely not like was sports. Yeah. Because yeah, this is gonna be the first challenge for Skin Lords. Finally, I would say, and was sports on the other hand, they, they did trade maps with, with refuse. refuse, yeah, and then survived the six overtime thriller against, against XGR, XGR yeah. last week. Exactly. So they are now at sixth spot. Skin Lords yet to drop a map, but now they're gonna head uh, head head in Inferno, the map that was sports have played in this tournament but have lost. Against Refuse, yeah, that was exactly, yeah, and Skin Lords back yet when to play. Carcass was playing, actually, yeah. yeah, and Skin Lords, yeah, once again, yet to play that one, but I think they should not have any problems playing Inferno. Yeah. I believe so as well. Yeah, it is kind of a puggy map still, and yeah, we're expecting. We're like everyone to get most, ready. Mo yeah. most of the places are known, and I think it's just going to be the battle of the wits. Like both the teams, they have been showing such such great potential. Yeah, uh, but that's the first map, Inferno. The other map, Train, that yes. they wanted to see. I so much want to Skin see Lords that yet one. yet to lose map on Train. They've played it two yes. times, yet to lose it. And was also. Exactly, but they played once against Refuse, which was yeah. a tough opponent to beat. Yeah. They beat they beat, beat them, and now let's see if they can actually do it yeah. against... Who's going to challenge who? And will Husky and Rao get the revenge they wanted? Yes, exactly. From yes. the game on tournament where they did lose... In so the final we're no. just missing one player at the moment, yeah. which is Dodds. Dodds. Yeah. And Gaborek is saying, trying to contact him, he's away, I don't know why. Oh. Can this like turn badly we for haven't, them? We haven't seen Vaz Sports yet have a stand-in. Yeah. Uh, they all the time have been on points. Uh, maybe they're thinking about standing, but then of course we'll need to have uh, that one checked and fixed. And see, so I believe on Inferno it should be a... It's hard to say, like both maps feel like... Uh, like so CD sided, like CD sided, yeah. close ones for both the teams because they're just so good. I I don't know what to expect. Here yeah, it's at all. super hard to call this one. I would say, I'm so like making the storyline up once again. Skin Lords like trying to challenge Wasports. Yeah. We know, we just know that Wasports have to be at the LAN finals. They are one yeah. of the best teams in Baltics, and this is the question now. Will Skin Lords are they like aiming for the same spots? For the top four, are they here to challenge World Sports or are they here just to like, like play out a good season but not going towards the top four? I don't know. I, I believe with this start with four rows, Skinner, they have to think things out differently. As you mentioned, yeah, they haven't faced okay, yeah, the strongest here. opponents. Is here. Just, oh, yeah. that, it's that is great. Whew. He's finally, yes, he's going into CSGO now. He's going to head into the game. So I don't really like, you don't like numbers, but let's both predict this one. <laughs> I, I know I'm definitely going to predict, I'm going to be biased here on train, I'm going to predict Skin Lords to win the train map. Yeah. But I think, yeah, this could go Waz's way, I think. The definitely could be the case. I'm going to predict, yeah, 1-1 one, one between the maps. 1-1 one, one yeah. in the end. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking that Waz's esports could surprise Skin Lords. That could definitely be the case because Skin Lords, they haven't faced, as you mentioned, like the top notch spots. Yeah, it's hard to tell exactly. at the moment because, exactly. yeah, they haven't like yeah faced the top notch teams but on the other hand was sports like are not too convincing i would say they yeah they, they haven't been that yeah convincing. week to week it feels like they have so many issues to fix once again yeah. as i'm uh, asking for gaborik to do the statements for the for the review yeah. articles and once again he's always saying yeah we know about these issues we have communication issues we yeah. have like issues closing out games or and stuff like that they are they're always trying to improve but they are never like ready like 100% ready, so that's what I'm looking forward to here. Exactly, and uh, for Inferno, can you give me a number? Okay, wait a minute, okay, I guess we're all ready. A number, like, round-wise? Yes, exactly. Okay, round-wise, I think it's still gonna be a close one. I would say something like 16-10 for what sports? Okay, actually, I'm going Inferno for Skin Lords. Okay. And I'm going to pick 16 13. It has to be a close one. I, I don't think these teams are going to have, like, stomping each other. 
But yeah. as we said, we haven't seen too much of Skinner to play against the top, yeah, this top could dogs. Go, this could be so close and this could go like yeah. dominant for either side. So let's yeah. just wait and see. We're heading into the ninth round right now. So Skin Lords versus Vaz Sports on the Inferno. Let's see how this one will pan out for them. Yeah, you definitely want to start on the CT side here. You want to get the ball rolling. These these teams are both so skilled and they know how to like abuse banana control. Yeah, definitely. With rot rotations and and so. Yeah, yes. and just today we, we we didn't saw that much banana control from Supply. So I'm thinking this yeah. Latvian team will show that they can do that. They are ready for it. With your skin lords, they did win. I believe they're just staying. Yeah, they're staying as CT, so... <clears throat> we can head into the match real soon now. As the pistol round will begin, we know how strong skin lords are with pistols. Everyone is strong with pistols, I would say, from both of these teams. So it's, it's super hard to predict this one. I just want to see this one play out and not say a thing at this point. <laughs> Oh, so, so you're casting alone, so I'm just I'm just watching the game. So Okay, Bye. you watch you watch and enjoy <laughs> as Envy does the work. As you see Elvis he has already went With for the defuse the kit and smoke. Thank you, Elvis, <laughs> my man. Let's see here, Husky, he's gonna be active in the second middle, he's gonna see one of the players and he's alone on A side, but that's where Vaz Sports are going to hit. Although they could still but rotate. Yeah. They could be Must rotating be. around. One player is gonna head towards that position, banana is being pushed. Flash is still waiting, he knows that one player is here, and you can see they fake it out. And it's going to be Vista with the kill, you can see all the skin lords are ro now rotating back. Vista, he can look for more kills. What a great job from him as only captain, and Rav will now be left. And they, oh, it, it almost worked out, but the Vista move, where he just faked it out, the sounds and everything else. Yeah, it's interesting that Husky is so like, okay, wanted from Raal, that's expected from him. But will he check Boiler from behind? Dodds is coming, yeah. He won't, and Captain goes down to Gaborik. Yeah, the thing I was saying, Husky saw, I believe, like two or maybe even three guys in second middle, and he was not calling in for rotation. That was kind of super weird, I would say. Yeah. Like, but Flash had rotated towards CT, but he stopped, and they were not convinced that it's still A. I don't know. They had to, like, commit to something, at least. Yeah, they're running towards B, and then when Vista came into CT, they instantly go back. They lose some time. Yeah. They didn't work out. You can see here this time is going to be Skin Lords being, being pushed out from Banana. Raw with the Deagle. Yeah, it could be really scary, but they are yet to push. You can see they have put two players in apartments. Husky won't see anyone. He hears the players come through. Now, let's be careful. The grenade will deal 23 damage. Yeah. So you can still possibly still get the kill low, here. Low amount of damage. Husky, he understands there's one guy, he's gonna take down Dodds Elvis, and he gets the AK, he now goes out, but there's Spur with the kill. Then there's side flush with the deal, he can't do anything, he's blind and he's smoked off. Let's see if Husky can do anything here. He's close range, he could check out the shot, he's gonna see the player here, but he does not get the headshot. It's in. hard to get that one with the CC. Definitely, but he, this time he finds Bitcher, who came out from the ass. There's going to be Spare with the kill, but Rav comes in with a Deagle. Three against two, and it looks like Andiko could go the way of Vaz Sports as Rav. He gets one more. And Gaborik, last man standing, he's going to pick up the bomb, has to be careful. He's one not picking inside. up the AK, that's interesting. Yeah. Yes. And he goes down, I believe there should be AK save. Will they manage to actually get them? Nope, only one AK. And now an Antico victory for Skin Lords, as they're going to go for MAC-10s. Let's see how many. Oh no, the Flash picked it up. CTs don't have a MAC-10. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little brain Let's see, so... There, but Two M4s, UMP, Mac 10. Let's see the layout. So, are they going to be aggressive in middle? So, they drop down the nades in middle, instantly back off, but Spur gets so little damage put into him. And Skin Lords, they're not even taking control of Banana. Yeah, they're giving all the respect for what's Pistols. Here. Let's see. They get to take the apartments. None of the players. They have one, one smoke, one flash. Where do you think the smoke should go if they take the A site? As it looks like it could be the deal here. The smoke could go towards like the little pit, yeah, here where Husky is staying. So they could pull out the rotation, but now they are heading towards B and it's gonna be used for CT, I believe. And just flashing over. Here, Captain through the smoke, not finding anyone just yet. Yeah, and Raul with the molly, so he could stop this if he gets the perfect timing. 
oh they managed to get away right as the smoke phases they were trying to boost over the smoke and now the push will come in the flash as well is in but no one gets flashed from the side of skin lords let's see now captain's gonna find one he's gonna look for the second he managed to get the second one but they still are pushing in let's see they find rav is gonna be one rav with one but there's bitcher with the kill he's gonna be bitcher with the second as he takes down captain as well gaboric and bitcher two against three let's see now as the smoke comes in, they picked up the smoke from the dead body. This really works out perfectly for them in the position. Some player in the dark with the M4. Gaboric, a bit different angle. He's going to be flush taking down the player. And now, Bitcher, he can take down Elvis. He survives at 5 HP. And Skin Lords, they win the round. Yeah, and someone should, yeah, drop an M4 for Elvis while he is defusing. And I was about to command, like, Captain getting the two kills, yeah. being good enough, like, playing safe enough, and backing it off, playing for Rao. For, from another angle, but he was not there when Raul needed him. Yeah. That was kind of kind of a mistake, but they didn't it work out in, in the end. end. They needed one more player, but now we can see actually they go for Spur goes for a hero play. So one AK on the side of terrorists. Let's see, fans in the left, but they're gonna push towards. Oh no, they're not pushing. Just the nades coming through and Spur's left with 60 HP. We can see here already Captain and Rav this time taking control of Banana, not allowing Vaz Sports to move anywhere around. Naski is playing long, Uger position, as some would say. Yeah. And here Elvis, he did take down Dodds, who was trying to be aggressive in apartments. Does not work out. We usually see Dodds being the lurker, the aggressor. Sometimes work out, but it does not work out against Skinners at the moment. We can see here Husky, he's not even peeking out the middle. This time he peeks out and he goes down to only AK that they have. And they're going to rotate towards, it looks like, yeah. A side is going to be flushed with, with the flash and with the spray down three yeah, kills for so him. Good. Well played, and we'll see here, Butcher, can he take him down? He's going to check pit, and he will take down Elvis, but he doesn't have the bomb, as the bomb is going through long. He has a small mistake, and there is Captain with the kill, 3-1, to one, and Flash just making it possible. Good Flash, just to peek out there, being really safe about yeah, the angle. He even pre fires the angle, as he's expecting them to like push now, in the perfect yeah. timing. Yeah, if he goes down there, it's around for Vaz Sports, for sure. Now we can see a Spur did buy an AK last round. He goes only for Mac 10. Inside Husky, he has the MP9. Elvis with the UMP. Instinct choice. Maybe they didn't have the money. But see, now they're pushing in. It's going to be Captain pushing out. Okay, it's rough. Not Captain as Elvis gets one more kill. In the second middle, they were really aggressive, but it works out for Skin Lords. It's not going to be three against two, but they have left a site open. This is an instinct choice. So yeah, Husky with Elvis, they were the aggressors in the middle, even heading towards second middle. Let's see, Vista has already will be in the site. With the smoke on long, it's going to be free plan for him. As I thought maybe Captain could challenge him. Oh yeah, he's going to plant. And we can see here Dodds waiting in second middle. That's not where skin loads are going to go. You can see here Captain is waiting on the edge of the smoke. He's going to see Vista and he's going to take him down. Dodds from short. The bomb is planted for him. Yeah, and plenty of utility for skin loads. They can just molly out every single angle. Smoke out. Let's see, Dodds, yeah. he also has the Molotov. He's going to drop it on the bomb, but there's still so much time left for it to be defused. You can see here now the smoke won't land. Okay, in a different spot. Dodds now pushing out. Can he get anyone here? They will look and rough through the smoke. Finds the player. 4-1 to one skinners at the moment uh, being the dominators in this one. Yeah, they're definitely looking better than Wasports at the moment, I would say. Because it looks like Wasports are still trying to force things. Always like forcing, force buying, trying to just crush skin loss, but they are not giving up. In every round, Skinners have won. They have lost only two players. Yeah, and that's, that's also good. They're building up the economy here, which is very crucial on Inferno City side. So you can hold these narrow angles. Exactly, and the Antico victories are more than often uh, expected in Inferno. So let's see, uh, at this point they don't have too much information, but they take down both players in Banana. Captain and Rav go down. Did they push? Th they push through the smoke. Yeah. Great job there from Dodds and Gaboric. See Husky he has already rotated. He's waiting for any kind of push to come. But yeah, the bomb is going to rotate. Elvis as well. Flash still waiting in arch. Pretty good position. And you can see Gaboric with 34 HP managed to get across. Yeah, and this is so smart that they are not making any sound. So Husky does not know other players. Okay. He pushes out and he gets only one, but Vista is there with a the kill back as Gaborg was trying to clean out the B side. Now pushing forward, Elvis, why wasn't he ready for that? Flush, he pushes through the smoke, but there is Dodds on the other side. Vaz Sports played this one perfectly as they bring the game back. 
but skin lords they can still buy mm. yeah there's plenty of money for even captain to bring out the op if he wants to yeah and b it could be the thing that they need like yeah. the, like one pick get one kill get back dropped in the in the big smokes yeah. and there's the op let's see spare one more time with the max 10 interesting choice and i like the fact that oh, they're constantly nading middle skin lords managed to get away just nade the middle and that's it you can see Husky, he's boosted up on the roof. As is going to be Elvis with one kill. I don't know if Spare spotted the guy on top there. Elvis pushes out. He's going to look for the second. It's going to be Gaboric with the kill. And, and Husky, Husky backed out. Yeah. Just left Elvis to die. Okay, that's, that's not good. how you play that one, I would say. Flash did not see Bitcher in the apps. Let's see, he's going to find Gaboric, but Gaboric finds him first. Husky, last man standing on a side. Now rotation from Captain Rav. Can they do it or should they say three against four? Definitely a doable retake. They have the utility. They should look at least for one opening. Then maybe rotate the player like Rob is still waiting in B. Yeah, they if can't they find do the opening. not get anything, yeah, and they are opting for a save. And I would say that's a mistake from Flushed. Like playing aggressively when your other players rotating around towards long. Like he's yeah. not close to you. He can't help if the, their RT is coming. So Flushed opts, opts for an aimed on and he loses it and there goes the side. And I think Husky when he left the roof on short that's that just because when Spur died I believe Spur did catch a glimpse that there could be a player and Husky didn't want to risk it from that position and Flash didn't back off together with him. Yeah but once again yeah the co communication may be lacking a bit because may Husky may be told like back off but Elvis was not in the position to back off so yeah. he had to commit for a fight and Husky was not there for him so so since Captain went for the up, he had 7k, I thought he would be able to drop the next round for someone and he will actually go for the famous drop. Yeah, and he, he has is gonna utility. go towards middle, I believe. But yeah, he will. Spare still with them back then. He's not scared about it. Let's see, will they go for the smoke? No, I think he's actually gonna check middle, second yeah. middle, but the Molotov is there. Without Vassports, I believe they were doing this constantly in the yeah, Inferno last the time. Yeah, actually, yes, I remember now. No luck like there. Basically, yeah, apps will be kind of careful to take, not, not careful, difficult to take for skin lords. Although they're already, you can see, they put flushed with max 7. And not in really close position, but still. Doing his apps. best, spare impression once again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he knows how to counter spare in this one. Here, Husky did not do any damage to any of the players, but almost got the right angle. To kill off them, but you can see two players are setting up for, I don't he know. He has an fake. inkling that there is someone behind that smoke. Because they did give up banana for free. Oh, Rav. Rav. I'm Rav. face palming so much right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I just can't imagine what's happening. Let's see how this round goes. As Husky is now with 37 HP. And Rav, he's going to take down one, but that's going to be it. He almost does his team, but he takes down only one enemy. The grenade, Husky gets lucky that the timing is there. Captain did find Vista rotating around, and they find... Dodds, it was Husky actually who, who finds Dodds in the site. As now Bitcher even goes towards Banana and Gaboric with 38 HP. This was really doable for Skin Lords, even with the fail that they had. Yeah, and Ellis has a Molly for a position, yeah. He uses it for triple box. Now they're gonna push through. Gaboric switched up his position, checking CT. He's gonna see one, it's gonna be Elvis with one. But Bitcher, he sprays down two. There's still bomb to be defused. Captain and Captain with this. the op. He's almost fully flashed and he still takes it. You can rely on Captain and, and his op, 5-3 to three in the end, but it was really close even when the, they didn't see the enemy players there. Yeah, look at the wild sports money, they have built up plenty by winning two rounds convincingly. There's and once again, yeah, alive. if Skinlords lose this four, one, yeah. they are forced for a sloppy buy or even an eco, so... So let's see, and uh, Skinlords is just continuing on to grenade nading this position. Rav pushing even through the Molotov, burns down to 55. How you like that, Rav? <laughs> <laughs> let's see, Elvis, he might take the player here on short, but he does not manage, although there is Husky who takes down Spur and Flush manages to serve here on Balcony. Did he freeze or before. something? What happened? It looked like Flush like freezed after his kill. Okay, now he's back. He lagged in. Oh, and he, he, oh, yeah. the timing worked out Damn. perfectly for him. Let's see, four against three. There, now it's going to be Elvis going. No, it's, sorry, that's flushed going down. That's Husky. He managed to get one, but only one. Rav with Captain. Uh, let's and why are see. rotations so late? This is an interesting one, yeah. 
like I think like constantly against us sports they are uh, I think all the teams are rotating really late yeah they are expecting like a maybe yeah. a fake play because the Vaz sports they have been together for such a long time yeah, only 20 seconds left they have to move now they're moving in it's gonna be Vista with one kill and Vista with the second and now it's gonna be an eco round for skin lords as now we can see Vaz sports they managed to save the op they are gonna force I believe because captain is at one one forty, so and it's the first round they lost now, and he won't be able to buy in the next one. Are they not? They're not. Okay, so the, he's gonna opt for a scout in the next one, I believe, or some UMP or something like that. Could be the case. Let's see. This time, Skinlord they leave the banana open since they didn't have any kind of utility to take it with. And with pistols, it will be really tough. You can see here Husky. Husky. Zeus. Husky. We did not get a Zeus in the last game, so... Elvis is going to get one and a second. Elvis, they don't even need Zeus when they have Elvis in the apartments. As now, it looks like the Antico could work out. Let's see Spurs still with Yop checking. Someone's going to push out. But now with the bomb, Vista, he's going to get one. And he's looking for the second as well. But Elvis with this uh, P250 already got two kills. He's going to push forward. And he's going to find a third one. Perfect play. And now Husky with Mac 10 could possibly change the pace of the game here as they're not checking this position it's going to be Spur taking down one and Gaboric with the second one by one they go down and now two against two let's see Rav he's going to rotate from from middle we go towards short captain could push out through the smoke right now because then they won't expect him and they won't he's looking for the kill and he does not get the kill they're not even a bullet in the enemies but Rav with the AK picked up, he's going to push forward, he's going to look for the kill. He's going to see Gaboric, but there is Gaboric, 13 HP left, 5 to 5. This is a close one, as yeah, we expected. So close, but this is why you don't usually like push apps against a force by of, of uh, pistols. Yeah. Because players like Elvis is going to like pop your heads up. Like Instantly. Just you saw two him. kills there, yeah. And then switching, switching his position, taking the player in longer. I like the fact that he waited for the smoke to be deployed. And then he finds the guy with the, I believe it was, yeah, with the op who was trying to even drop down the Molotov. Just the perfect time for him. Everything works out. And you can see this time it's going to be Husky with the op. Yeah, and once again, we can see Skinlar's giving up the banana control early on because they do not have much utility. Yeah, Captain is waiting for Rao to give the information that someone is there, so he's going to smoke and buy enough time maybe for them to hold this one. And this is an interesting set setup on A. They are giving up on long, so they are expecting... Husky, he misses the shot. Play. I believe it was uh, Dot's shoulder peeking that position, and now he goes towards long. So let's see, one player checking short, uh, Elvis flash checking, if anyone comes out from here, and Husky with the up. Can he get in? He again misses. I believe he tagged dots, but he still stays there. What went wrong? Did he got stuck? I, I don't know. No he was greedy. But they're going for B split. Yeah. This I like so much from Vaz Sports. Let's see if it's going to work out. Captain with Rav. Both are ready. This time the late rotation. I think there's no information. Okay, now it is. Captain is in a timely manner checking at least. CT. No one checks him, but they're all going to go through ruins. It's going to be Captain seeing one, and he managed to get one kill in the second one as well. As Rav did go down, and there is Captain turning around, getting the kill. Only Spur will be left, as Flash did find Bitcher coming out from the apps. But this is still a close one. Let's see what Spur can do. See, Captain yeah. has switched his position. Ten seconds left now. He has to do get the plant. See how close Captain is, and he's going to go for the kill, and he, will, oh, he does not get it. There was still enough time for him to go through, and he will manage to get the kill. Four kills for Captain. And this an op now. Oh my god. Yeah, these are the plays we are expecting from this matchup. It's so hard to pre predict this one, because it was yeah. like doing the right play, and Captain is just showing up with a new MP, picking up the AK, getting one more, and then getting Spur in the end with, with a an USP. Damn, this was a nice play from both Definitely. teams, actually. And both of the teams, they go for a buy. We can see well, five AKs. On the other side, there's one uh, Famas, but the rest, they have real good weapons. And they put five players on uh, B this time. The grenades will come through, but you can see how active Vaz Sports are now in Bananas to take control of it. You can see CTs are playing uh, A really safe, as they're only two. So really deep angles. 
not giving too, too much information away. Yeah, and this is interesting. They are once again giving up long because they do not expect Waz to go once again for the same play, which did not work for them in the last round. And the re-smoke comes through as Spur uh, makes sure of it uh, by his spraying through the smoke. Let's see, they're still trying to peek in middle. But as, as we mentioned before, they're just so deep in, and you can see here Flush even waiting in library. Yeah. Even if they push towards long, yeah, and he's this is there. so smart. Only a minute left. There's no, basically, no utility on Waz sports side. They are gonna try to like fake it out on A, I believe, with one smoke towards small pit. Flash, he knows that there's one, at least one of the players, and Captain and Rao. They're gonna wait for it, wait for the push to come through. Elvis, I believe, he did not see the player on short, and now Smalltalk will come through. He managed to get away from it. We just that uh, close. Okay, Flash is gonna find those now, pushing forward. Vista is looking for the kill, and Captain he's fully Flash. Let's see what Rob can do here from the boost. So he's gonna take down two, looking for the third. He will. Vista, last man standing. Now all the defense worked out, and here they're looking for kill. And Husky, he's gonna win that duel with 20 HP. He might manage to save the AK. Yes, three AKs on the side of Skin Lords. By LBG, I believe he's gonna still stay with the Famas. They don't have too much money. They're only now starting to build up the bank. Yeah, they're Although bouncing back from those few rounds that was Sports won. There's still three more rounds here on the first half. Uh, Vast Sports, they're going for an eco. Let's see what's going to be the case for them. What's their plan? You can see Husky is going aggressively here in second middle. He's going to find Dodds. Great shot. And Elvis finds the player in the middle. Vista going down. So let's see. But Spur with Deagle. Delete. And even one more. They almost clear out Banana. As Rob is still waiting. But now Butcher with Gaborik, two men left, although flushed, he did see there on the edge of the smoke, the player, I believe, takes down the guy. Now only three against one. Looks yeah. like it's going to be eight to five, then it's going to be a buy round for us sports. What do they need to change? As they, at least, like, looks like kind of a bit struggling, I want to say. Yeah, it's actually, okay, well, let's wait this one out because Butcher can do some damage here. There's still Husky in the second middle. If he finds Husky, he... What? Really? He didn't see him? I believe only now his teammates told him. Yeah. I believe he, he himself did not see him. His teammates did see the guy. He has no utility. He has no armor. This should not be doable. But is it? He Let's see, Husky, he will not get killed off, but up in the right time. It works out. Eight to five, still two more rounds. And Gabori can go for, go for the op. He could drop at least the op for some of his teammates if they're for looking spell, for it. Maybe, yeah. No, he does not go for that. It's going to himself be. could go for it. He, yeah, I think he was asking Gaborik if he can go for it, and yeah, they have to switch something up. And the thing is, I think that it's super hard because skin lords are playing so passively, like, and even then, with giving up banana, giving up middle control, wasp sports are not able to capitalize on that one. Here, Vista moves forward. He will see the players here on shore. It's going to be Husky with one. Elvis with a second. He's going to go for more. And now he can see Flush moving in. He's going to spray down two, and only Spur will be left alive. So the Byron not working out, but here Spur misses the shot, 28 HP, and here already is Rav looking for the kill. But from the library, yes, it's got to be real difficult here. Well, Spur is looking to come out, and there is Captain with the kill. He ensures it, 9-5, to five, last round of the first half, and it's not a Byron for us, Spurs are going to force it up. Could be some AKs coming through, maybe Gabor going for the AK. Yeah, Spur going for the Mac 10 once again. I would just be suggesting them to drop some AKs for the other guys who don't have the money so they can buy the armors, maybe themselves, and then buy the utility with the rest. But as for now, Vista is actually with, with a Glock. What is this? You can see they're really, actu they're really active in the second middle. It's actually, no, not in the middle. The banana is going to be one kill for Flushed. But as it's he a was stack. Pushed. Yeah, so still two more players are there. I don't think Dodds can find anything here. As once again, they put three players on B and they go really deep uh, in, in positions in A site. Not checking long, just in pit and from graveyard playing from those positions. Looks like it's going to be hit towards the A site. You know, obviously he's going to check long. Or is it? It can be a split towards B because there is still one player in Banana, which is Vista. He's smoking even now, coffins out on B, taking it out. It Don't does the look like will a come split, through. yeah. It could be the case they're waiting for the rotation. So you it's can, interesting you can that see. Bomb is still staying in the middle. Because now they're going to go towards B, but you can yeah, see where they're waiting the for the rotation. play from Skin Lords. They want to know if it's A or it's B. If they catch they out the bomb. They can find the bomb, exactly. 
I see that's going to be the case here. Gabor, he finds one, but there's going to be Husky now taken down. At least they got the bomb. They had the information. Now Captain will drop for the retake. Both of the players switch out to automated rifles. Captain won't re retake this one with an AK, but you can see in what position Richard is in. I believe Captain should check this angle, and he does not. Rob, he's going to be the last man standing. He gets taken down by Dodds. 9-6, to six, at least Vast Sports bring it back to this one. And a good score for Vast Sports, I have to say. Yeah, six rounds is definitely enough, and it's such an even game. I'm so thrilled for this one. It is. Still, we it can't is. tell them apart. Everyone is like coming up, coming up with a good place, either like individually or strategically. Really and yeah, Gabarik with the diffuse kit. Once again, I'm all for that one. <laughs> Always. And five farmers with skin lords. Only one decoy, so... They're all heading towards B site, and you can see how deep they are in, but Gaborik is there with the kit, so they will have the kit on B site. So this, this could be crucial. Gaborik looking for the kill. He can't find it just yet, but he's going to get taken down by Rav. And now Bitcher, last man standing, he's switching his position to runes as he waits for his teammates to rotate. Yeah, this is a smart play. They should get the ruins with the Glocks. Just swarm them. They're taking the position, but you can see how passive uh, what sports are playing and only now they're coming in and they know that there's one player in the dark. Well, let's see here. It's going to be one kill for Vista. He takes down Flushed in the runes and Vista with one more rough going down as well. And L, this is just a massacre from the CTs one by one. Yeah, it fell apart so quickly. It just felt like the, they, they knew perfectly how to do it. Just yeah, perfect. and the thing is, yeah, they did not get the ruined controls. Control like everyone. There was only one guy, I believe. Flushed. Was, yeah, Flushed, yeah. Only one guy taking down, he was taken down like already instantly. Yeah. So why are you even like challenging them in the ruins? I don't know. Exactly. Then was for they check every single angle and just one by one we saw skin loss yeah, drop. At least they now get a, get a four so they can buy in the next one because they got the bomb. So let's see, they're heading towards second middle. There's Spurstal waiting in the middle. I think he just missed, but he's going to see the head and he even tags Husky. Spur with a great flick and they move out and Rav, he did find Bitcher. Vista with the kill as they're now moving in and he can't survive for too long. It's going to be three against three now. Oh no, sorry, four against three. And as Captain, Captain pushes out and he so does close. not manage. So I'm clear, oh, he finds it in the one, end. That. Let's see, Dot, he pushes out. He does not see anyone. Oh, they play this one smart. And I think Rav did hear the guy. And here he's going to look for the kill. He does not get it and the bomb is still dropped here. So to take the side, they need this one. He can go towards B, actually. They can, and he will. You can see Husky. He's going to play from here, and he could find... Oh, he misses the timing. No one knows about Husky, I believe. I have no idea. That could Was be the case, waiting. yeah. No, he's checking second middle, and both of the players are going to head back. They didn't buy this round, so they can buy the next round. But yeah, and like Rao is it. not still sure that there's no one on B, so Dodds could get the timing right and flank him, but Rob is expecting that one, so one bullet towards Dodds. He misses. Yeah. And now Husky is going to be last man standing, one against two, one from CT, one is waiting in Banana. This just does not does not look doable. Let's see. Oh, he gets Dodds, okay. If he rotates right, now back. towards A, yeah, this is doable, definitely. So let's see, Gabor, he's going to stay here, he's going to wait for the plan to come out. It's not going to be the case here. Husky with the perfect play, reads it. Even gets a scout, yeah. So one bullet towards Gaborik and he's dead. The bomb will be planted. Gaborik understands it's not this site. He has to run and he does not have the kit. Yeah, and this is, is a good kit? position for Husky. It's in the graveyard. There's no utility at the moment for Gaborik. He hasn't picked up any from the players that have died. But let's see. Yeah, there's already so little time for Gaborik to play around. Five seconds to kill Husky at this point. So let's see if that's going to be the case here. Husky knows where the guy is. Uh, Gaborik understands the situation. He says to go away. He's, what is he doing? Is he really looking forward? And it's going to be Husky with the kill. And Husky, he's going to blow up to the bomb, I believe. And then, yes, he will. And now they can buy fully since and they saved. And with a saved. little BM there at the end. Just a little, just a little. But 10 to 7, it's going to lose the Vindianzi eco. That's great showing. And if you check the scoreboard, you can see how equally the frags are spread out on their side. On their side, Spur with the AWP or with Scott, he hasn't found too much luck. Let's see if this time he can find the players here. He does see legs there. And now he's going to go for the kill, but he can't find it. He's left with 38 HP. He's still getting checked. And he still tries to re-pick. Now 13 HP left. 
and now he understands that he does not need to peek that angle. Yeah, Skinwatch should take this one slowly if they want to catalyze on was not having weapons. But this is a good angle, yeah, they smoke down banana in a timely manner, so no one's going to want to push that one against the mag. Definitely have to be careful, there's a CZ in the mag waiting. Inside you can see still like they're checking middle and even waiting for the aggressive push from the apartment. So basically waiting for Buzz Sports to go for information. Let's see if Ruff can find anyone. There's one player right behind the wooden wall. They just back off, although no. No, the call comes in, yeah, go towards B. See, maybe this could work out. The grenade's coming through. Nothing just yet, it's gonna be one kill for Dodds. Can he get more? No, the wooden wall does not save him. Although he did get one Sorrow going down, so three against four retake now. But you can see Elvis, he's just waiting for them to push out and he... And the timing. The timing works out, but he has to be careful and he will win in the duel. You can see Gaborik with Spur, I think they're just looking... Maybe they could possibly even save this one for the next round as they won't have the buy. Ziegle could work out, even the Molotov, full armors for both. Yeah. Definitely a round save, so four against two, Skinlord, they take it. It's going to be their 11th round. And I don't know, okay, th this wasn't any kind of a buy round. We can't say too much what was sports are doing wrong on CT side just yet. Yes. Need to wait for the buy round, it's going to be after this one. So potentially Skinlords could go at 12 to 7, and that point is really close for them to end the game. Yeah, the only thing like taking away now is that this is kind of a strong statement from Skinwatch that they are here to challenge was sports. They are here to like win the game actually, not to just Definitely. mess around. So let's see what's going to be the case here. So Rob going for Mac 10. I believe, yeah, he didn't even have money for the AK and he's leaving his teammates alone it so they can rack up some money. rush at this point, I believe, with the Mac 10 going in first. Now they're not even pushing here, they're going towards middle. Let's see if Spur can find anyone. He's gonna tag one up, but there's gonna be Husky with the kill. And now Molotov from Gaborik, but they're gonna push through the Molotov. Let's see if Ross survives here with 28 HP, but you can see flashed burning down to Gaborik. And now they're gonna take the ace side. Gaborik is ready with the Deagle. He can't find the first opening. You can see the players already rotating. He finds Captain, he finds Rav. Only Elvis and Husky are left. He's gonna be one kill for Husky. He has to be careful. There's one in library and two players already in the site. See, he understands that there's one guy in the pit. He's gonna move out. He does not check the site. What is this? Gaborik takes him down already. Four kills for Gaborik. Will this be an ace clutch for him? Husky, last man standing. And let's see. He's gonna go down, go down to Vista, who's waiting on right that angle. 11 to 8. An anti eco victory. Yeah, this is also a mistake. Once you like, once things are not going your way, when you're rushing like this, just back it off, slow it down, reset the situation. They were just. Splitting up too much and Gabori capitalized on that one, just popping heads from the side. Exactly, he did a really great job, four kills there, but now Skinlords, they still have some money left in the bank as they buy four AKs, UMP, and not that much utility, but they're heading all towards apps. It's really an apps push, the chaotic one, which is jump out of the balcony and take everyone down. It That's could be, yeah. Uh, Husky one. is going to flash for that. Yes, there goes the will. flash. So Gaborik, he's gonna hide for a moment. They won't see anyone. Vista with the kill, he's looking for more. He's seeing the heads. He's looking for, he's gonna get the second one as well, but there's gonna be Rav with the kill back. And Bitcher with those, they're now rotating it back. So Skinlord, they take the side. Three against two, they have to be careful. As uh, Vista, he did so much damage there. You can see here, even flushed, he hasn't yeah, had this enough. Point, it's a save round for Dodds, yeah. He should be saving. He's gonna get the AK. Run back to the B side. It's gonna be safe, so it's gonna be 12 to 8. The game at the moment just going back and forth. Yeah, and he's still sticking around. Wants to get those entries. He understands that they don't have that much money. And saving those three weapons is just now priority for Skinlords. They should go all together. And they are. Props to that. Not for now, so they're not they're going to have the buy round for us sports. What is the key here for them? What, what do they need to do? But, but pro probably the banana control, they need to establish that one. Yeah, that is one. The second one is maybe Spare actually getting the AWP. Has he, has he had an AWP? No, he gets off. it. He gets it. Okay. So maybe this is the answer. Him being aggressive in the middle, getting the shots. 
you know, he was playing before with the scout in the middle, the same position with the grenade. Kinda blocks his vision there, and he's still gonna peek, and he's looking for a kill. But it's gonna be Captain taking down Vista, and here Spur he can't manage to get the shot in. 47 HP, and he won't peek. There goes the my props to flash it. Just <laughs> actually every single round, just playing with Spur, just shoulder peeking there. Like I think, like player like Spur, who's yeah. so aggressive, he used he's used to like getting all the kills, and when yeah. he doesn't, I think that is going to like frustrate him. Definitely. He has been like really active. He wants to go even in the apps you saw, but there was a smoke, so he wasn't sure if he can push through there. There could be someone there. It was going to be a push from Skin Lords. Three players are there. Let's see how this one pans out. Although they yet to push as Bomb is still checking Banana. And here through the wall. Okay, it's going to be through the smoke wall. Elvis is killing off Dodds. And they're now and heading this is towards. Such a good call perfect. Now. And let's see, Bitcher. Oh, he hear anyone in Banana? And even re smoking the small pit, so. It looks like they are still committing towards A, but they have been rotating. Yes, all, all five players. Yeah. Well played from Skin Lords. The buy round won't be. It doesn't look like it won't be successful for Vast Sports, but you can never tell with Vast Sports. Their retakes have like on B side yeah, especially. But they are opting for Savia, and this is the smart choice here. Spare has to get his up. Save. We think he did the see the guy. And Once again, yeah, missing the shots. A bit, a bit impatient. So they will have an M4, an AK, and an AWP left for the next round. Two rest players, they could go for some pistols. Uh, Spur, do you think he needs to change position? Maybe go towards yes, Banana? Yes, definitely, because that position <laughs> has not worked for him. And Flashhead is only teasing him in the middle. Really? So they, they are actually looking for them. They're not too scared about their own money, although they don't have too much. Yeah, but they can sacrifice maybe one or two guys if they get the AWP away from hands of Spur. See, will they get peaked? Could be Gaboric here with the kills. Let's see if he's gonna push out. They're actually waiting to be flashed, killing off Elvis and Gaboric taking down Rav. That's not what I meant with the word yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. Flash, <laughs> come on, dude. Elvis kind of misunder misunderstood you. <laughs> but 13 to 8, we see yeah, the pistols coming in. Dodds going for the CZ, full armor. Another side captain with the AWP. So yeah, let's see if this one works out. Actually, going towards middle once again. Trying to force things out, peeking under a flash, and get and denied. Yeah, Rav is there to get the kill, Captain's still waiting because there is one player really active. Dodds trying to peek towards Banana to get information, but nothing there just yet. The bomb will be picked up, looks like they're going to push towards the A side. You can see how far Dodds has gotten, there's going to be a kill from, for, from Gaboric as Rav moves in. Yeah, Dodds any kind pushed of out now. He's in the backs of Skin Lodge, just tapping through heads. Yeah, he's gonna get one. There's Captain with the kill, but now Bitcher pushing out. He's gonna get the kill. Husky, last man standing. It worked out perfectly. I really like how Bitcher went in. Just the timings were all on point. So I think Husky's gonna find one. One against two now. They are in the apps right behind him. This will be a tough one for Husky. Moser down in second middle. He won't check the other side. And it's gonna be Bitcher with the kill. Three kills for him. 13 to 9. And now skin lords, they are on eco, or uh, they they should save. They should go for like armor pistols, and that's it. Yeah, and try to maybe go for. A okay, here comes the hero plays with Not the all, AKs. Yeah, all five heroes on skin lords. They're gonna force it up, every single one of them. They want to finish the game now. Yeah, because they feel like they can break what sports economy is still at this point. So that is the correct choice if they win this round. Let's see if it's gonna work out for them. For one more time, waiting. In the middle, so he's not com not even switching his position at all. Still waiting, Rob waiting for a push in banana. No information from that position just yet. So I he has gotten to a bit safer position. Playing from long, there's player on short and there's player waiting. Yeah, in but once gaps. again he is gonna get smoked off by Husky, I believe. That's most of the flash coming through. They're gonna move in here. Let's see if it works out. The op is already rotating towards short. They've yet to peak. And no, Everyone was trying to rotate away from B. Dodds at least. Let's see, with this position. He did see the player rotating away. He could call for teams. Oh, this just. Okay, Rav goes down, but there's going to be a kill from Flushed. And here through the smoke. Let's see, on the edge of the smoke, he does see the player. He's going to take down Captain. He's looking for more. It's going to be three against four. They will push through the smoke without any flashes, and they will be taken down one by one by Bitcher. And Dodds with the last kill. Okay, Skin Lords. I don't know what's going on. 
<laughs> yeah, that was not looking good at all. No one checking the short angle. Like Spur got an easy kill, a free kill. He was traded, but then once again, through the smoke, Bitcher is there yeah. and just popping heads. I don't know why are you pushing the smoke like that. He was not making any footsteps like that he's going away. So it's a tactical pause for skin lords. So now they are broken in their economy. So this is going to be a full eco. I think they're already like talking through what they are going to do in the next round. Yeah. Once they get the weapons once again. Do you think maybe uh, this time it would, it would be the uh, time for chaotic push through balcony in a side? Maybe once again, yeah, why because not? Because they have only pistols, they don't have any utility, this could potentially work out. I don't know what else could work out here with only USPS, this flash did go for P250 and Dodge in the middle with the up, he misses the opening shot. We can see here he's going to be spare pushing forward, he doesn't see anyone now, he sees flash, he takes him down, he's still looking for the kills, you can see Vista is now pushing forward. He could find the players in second middle or even in the middle as Rav goes down. All beasts cleared out and Husky, he's going to be the last man left standing. Just end this Husky, come on. Exactly. No, well, he's looking for the economical damage because he can still damage the players. Definitely can damage players. Looking for one more kill, but two players pick him. Spur with the third kill and now 13 to 11 as the Byron will now come in from Skin Lords. What's going to be the idea here? Where are they going to go? We're going to see... Uh, they haven't, okay, for, for, for like I believe for four rounds or three rounds at least, they've gone to only to A. Yeah, they are always taking the middle control, smoking out long, and then trying to do a contact play. But maybe yeah, they should switch things up and go towards B. You know, once again, I'm just taking middle with a full flash. And he's going to be killed. Oh my goodness, Rob can he find it? He will spare. What is going on? Yeah, once again, Spur got getting caught off with his aggression, just jumping around. You can see Dodds is waiting with Yop. Will the shoulders be come in? Let's see how fast he can react. There has to be a flash here. Okay, they managed to run out. That was real lucky that Dodds actually did not hit that one. He's gonna now smoke it off. Yeah, and now you can see what I'm always talking about. He's alone there and they can stack the A side with all the worst guys. So Bitcher, he has been really successful here along, he has at the moment 15 kills. I thought he stopped fragging uh, before the last few rounds. And he rotates around. He's still not convinced. And Dodds is not sure that it's not B. This could be the Kiatsu. And there goes, yeah, the apps push you were talking about. This is it. Husky is set up for the, for the one flash. Oh, excuse me. Okay, Husky Vista with the Molotov yeah. actually forcing the players back. I don't know if Gaborg did hear the guys burn. Yeah. I believe he did. Only 30 seconds left now. You have to be fast about this one. Vista, really good position as the flash now comes through. They're going to route, but there's going to be Vista with one. Husky, he's going to get two on three kills if you count in the kill against Raven. There is Elvis with the kill on Bitcher. And last man standing Dodds. This one works out perfectly for skin yeah, even with a team kill. that working out? Husky, even like, who did he kill? I have it like... Rav. Oh yeah, <laughs> just Ralph, move along, come on dude. That's how exactly. you enter sites, you <laughs> kill your own dudes. Yeah, but this, this is good for Skinlers that they actually managed to take this one because there, there were only, only 30 seconds left, yeah. And now, Dodds is the only one saving. They will have a, have a buy next round, what sport that is. And look at Skinlers, they do not have that much money, so... They will go for maybe some Mac 10s uh, maybe a UMP, maybe a Deagle for Rav could come in. Could definitely work out. They haven't had too much luck in the, with the op on CT, on T side. I believe Deagle could be the answer here. Let's see if there's going to be the Rav's choices. No, they all get AKs. They managed to drop. Yeah, and Sparrow is back with the op, and now the op, double op comes out finally. So maybe this is the answer. Let's see if that's going to be the case here. Uh, it's actually does now checking towards B, but yes, once again, this time Skin Lords, they get the control of Banana, but Rav is getting tagged down to 50 HP already through the wall there. Well, let's see, so this time it's going to be Gaboric on long. They switched the positions up, so they're not uh, married to those positions. At any point, there's now Bitcher with Dodds. And yes, so the, this will be okay for B. They can definitely leave three players in A at, I believe, at just like the last second when they know when they're rotating with the player boosted up and you can see the opera just waiting yeah, here. And this is an interesting 
think did skin lords understand that there are two ops so if they did they could be going for a b execute now and just smoke off dots let him rotate towards graveyard to, towards the coffins and smoke that that out as well that could be the case here they're setting up for the smokes they're, they're gonna fall in Dodd should now, they're gonna wait out the shot. Dodds is even pushed out. You can see here he's gonna get Husky. So great move and here, will they, they check? check? No, they won't. Rav, he goes down, it's gonna be Dodds with one more. Captain and Elvis are left two against five. Let's see, can they manage to hold this one? It's gonna be a real tough one. One against two, this does not look doable. They're pushing forward, LG even fully flashed one more time. He's gonna re-smoke this position and they did see Captain. Let's see, they're gonna get boosted up. Captain, will we wait for the right time and will he get the guy there? He's gonna see him. He's gonna go for the spray. Doesn't work out. On the other side, the players are now pushing in. Elvis, last man standing, one against two. And that's gonna be it. It's 14 to 12 as they retake the site. But at least they get two players killed. Uh, only two players are left live on Vast Sports. So at least the money won't be there. Yeah, but that was such a smart play. Smart play from Dodds, like pushing that small, getting the first kill. Yeah. So that's like intense to them not checking Bitcher on the flower pots. So skin lords one more time. Take the tactical the timeout. Tactical, yeah. So yeah, once again their money is kind of in shambles. They can't buy too much. So I think this is gonna go with like a pistol buy or something and try to buy for the next one. Maybe get some more economic damage towards Wasports. Yeah, the two ops are still running on Wasports, so this could be the case. Elvis has bought, yeah, already a pistol armor, so... so let's see how this one pans out as Taximal Timeout comes off. Uh, I really like Dodds uh, on, B on Banana with T-Op. He deals some damage, like even through the walls and everything else, just keeping Banana safe, and as you mentioned, they can rotate away, put four players in A site, you can see here they're actually waiting in the second middle. It's Spur dropped down to 15 HP. I believe he got tagged by the players from Skin Lords. Uh, let's see here. Vista, he's still waiting. He can, I think, see the players crossing there in the smoke. I think this is once again the push from Apps. Grenade coming through. Okay, they don't see it on the other side. Not too much damage dealt with the grenade. The bitch still with some Molotov. He's even going to check. If anyone's in boiler, you can see they're not pushing out, still waiting. And if, when the flashes come out, I believe it's gonna be or Husky maybe, setting yeah, it's up for the smokes, flashes, everything. It. And there is Bitcher with the spray down. And he's gonna take down one, looking for the third one. Gaborg from the other side coming out. The USPS not working out. Two against three situation now. Captain's gonna be the last man standing and he'll get taken down by Spur. 14-13, kind of predictable that they're gonna lose this one. And yeah, the but the round. thing was like Husky missed his flash. He was like too close to the wall and it bounced like against the wall oh. close near him. So it could have worked out there. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to know for Skin Lords fans. It could have worked out. The eco victory. Well, let's see. Still two ops. Captain, he's going to peek towards middle. It's going to be spear crossing. Oh, I think almost he got some damage into his teammate, but luckily not. Let's see here. Will Dots, he's just waiting on this edge. So if Captain gets a bit too more aggressive, it could go down. Yeah, and now finally spear finding some success, but Dot was picking into Captain there. Yeah, he got a bit too aggressive. He's going to be spared with one more kill as he now finally is the aggressive, the roaming up. Yeah, I can already see like Husky yelling in TeamSpeak, what is he doing? Why is he in the apps with an AWP? <laughs> and that's just spare for you. Exactly. And that's what I want to say. Let's see. So they put only one player in B side, three on A. Not so welcome through. They're still waiting for the players to push through. It's going to be spare. Trying to look for the kills, burns even a bit and managed to get away as Rav didn't even peek. Yeah, and now so. he rotates around. He did not see anyone in middle. And I, I'm quite sad that Rao did not peek him there from the Mexican. So, yeah, now they can bait. Force pair, yeah, here comes the flash. So the flash is out, the bitch with spray down. He's gonna get one. That's gonna be two against four as they're moving in. LG is gonna take down Butcher, but there's still you can see Spur where he is. Close range, he will be seen taken down by Rav, so this time they check this check these positions. And let's see if Vista and Gabor can actually retake this one. They have a flash and a Molotov. Both of the players have kits. Let's see. It looks like yeah, Rav is still checking. They're gonna come out. It's gonna be one kill for Rav. Last man standing, Vista with MP9. This looks like this could work out for him. He's gonna move in. He's gonna see one player going down, looking for more. My goodness, Vista! With the MP9. Not like this, guys. 
clutching it. Damn. Damn, but yeah, we still with the play. He is aim is so on point in this one. And he managed to save the up. Yeah. And LVG being a bit too impatient, not waiting for a player to start a defuse or anything. Yeah, I actually think that Raw kind of misplayed it in the end. He was too late to peek Wista in the CT while Elvis was still fighting with him. So yeah. Wista got the one one on one duels two times. So he just wins them and it's around for what's worth there. 14 14, they're not giving up. They want to take this one right here, right now. As they know, the train will be a difficult map for both of the teams. Wista misses the timing, I think, just by a bit. And here he, oh, that was, that was so close to killing off the player. Now I can see three players have been, uh, so, sorry, four players have been put towards a site. Dodds waiting with the op. Far out. This could potentially work out for them. You can see two players waiting in long. One in short, one in pit. As soon as they have to be careful about this push. They're now pushing out. Instantly going to get towards short. No one's going to peek them there just yet. Are they, they're, are they faking this one? Bitcher, he managed to get away. This is kind of a fake, as there is, I believe they kind of understood and it there. And Dodds did give up Banana now. Yeah, and he can't peek it in anymore. He can't uh, make the f first call. And here he misses the opening, and now the rotation should come in. And Wild Sports, they're still There's not rotating. rotating yeah. The flash was there, now they're going out. Dodds misses the shot. Now the rotation will come in. Let's see if he can get it. Now the third shot missed. And let's see Bitcher here. Dodds finally gets the kill against Husky. They still have to be real careful. Five against four retake, as the bomb will be planted. And let's see how this one works out. Elv is getting tagged a bit. Let's see here, flushed. Has to be careful because there's two players spur. He does find one Rav there with the Deagle. He finds the player Gaborik with the kill. Elvis as well. Two against three now. Yeah, it's still double. The position is kind of good. Let's see, they'll be checked, but Rav, he gets kind of impatient looking for the up kill. And now the grenade. Let's see. They're going to roam all the way around. The bomb is not being defused just yet, but Gaborik, he knows where to look, but... Okay, no, it was defused, sorry. I did not see it in Vista, he gets the kill, but at least Elvis, he managed to save the AWP. 15 to 14. It's gonna be a buy round for Skin Lords. I didn't see the guy in the smoke that he was defusing. I thought it was like, okay, this will work out for Skin yeah. Lords. Maybe even. And it's not, so 14 to 5. Any kind of ideas for Skin Lords? I don't know what's going wrong for them. I think they got like the first two kills in Banana, as I remember, but yeah. I just want to mention that this is a matchup I would definitely want to see an overtime. Yeah. In, so. How how far why, they can go? Why not? Yeah. So let's see here. Three players are now in in B, but you can see what sports they're not peeking it too aggressively. They're being careful about it. Yeah, and spare once again with the Mac. He's then playing middle. Could potentially work out as you can see here. Uh, Skinlers, they're waiting for aggressive push through apps. They're waiting on the aggression from us sports that we haven't seen from them to come out. Us sports. Like the small mistakes, maybe just uh, as there was Dodds, he was basically left alone on B and he peeks out just around time. Yeah, or Spurs just being aggressive on middle as he is used to be doing. Okay, Spurs actually rotating around, so this could work out perfectly for Skin Lords. Let's see, they're setting up for it, but they're still, they depend on Elves to survive and to get the bomb, as all the four players are now coming towards a site, as it yeah. looks like, and Only even Spur rotating completely. Left. And they do not have the bomb. Yeah, this this is looking sketchy at the moment for Skin Lords. Let's see, they switch out. There's going to be a Rav waiting in Banana. The flashes come out. They hear the players come through. It's going to be an A push. Let's see if it works out. Vista from the pit. Gaborik in the site. And be careful. There's already Per rotating, I believe he, they just did hear them. It's going to be one kill and the other kill, so it works out. Let's see here, Spur. Okay, he's going to go down as well. Bitcher and Dodds, two players left alive, two against five. They have to go for the retake, but they're rough even in the smoke. And two kills, 15-15. Yeah, we didn't expect that close of a game. Honestly, I have no idea how that round worked out for Skinlord. I thought it was our for sure taking this one. Timings, I believe. Yeah, once again, timings. Who was in the pit? It was Wista, I believe. And yes. he got like, he flashed towards long, he peeked, and he got killed from maps. Yes, if exactly. I remember correctly, mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, that so. was the way there. But now the overtime number one, the round number one, 15 15. Let's see. So two ops come out from us, sports. Let's see how this one will pan out for them. 
And it's gonna be Captain with the you first can't opening be kill. Crossing like that Instantly, Spur like manages Captain, to yeah. survive as he was pushed in into the wooden wall. I, I, I'm actually surprised that he even survived that one. Yeah, and Gaborik now picks up the second op. You're still depending on it. And even gonna head into the apps. Interesting choice, but this could work out as Bitcher is boosted up in short. He can definitely cover this position himself. So you know they will push will be pushed out, Spur. He's going to look for the opening, but you can see here, Elvis, he's just waiting for the player to come through. Three players are on his side. Elvis just did hear the guy. And he now understands he's backing off. So let's see how this one will work out. Ah, it's actually Vaz Sports. Okay, I thought I thought even Spur will rotate towards the A side. I thought they would be guessing. It was going to be Bitcher with one kill, looking for the second skill. Captain with the op. Now Gaborik pushing towards short, but Captain, he's still waiting to position. Let's see if it works out. It looks like they could be going towards B. No, they can go towards the A site. You have to be careful. There is Vista waiting. It's going to be kill for Captain. He's on point with Gaborik. He trades. He's not going to look for the kill through the smoke. He finds the no scope. And two against two. So let's see. Both two ops and two AKs for the retake. They have to look for the weapons. Gaborik, he could possibly pick up just the, the AK. AK. Yeah, there. And he has a kit now. What a fair deal. Yeah. Nothing. As Flash takes him down, there's still one more player in the pit. They know where Gaborik is. And he did not pick up the AK, so... The Flash will come through the Molotov from Husky. Gaborik even pushing forward. He's being so aggressive. They know that he's close, but he burns down in the end. And they're gonna say one up and 16-5 at the moment in Skinlord's favor. Yeah, huge plays from Captain there. Getting free kills, I believe. So, yeah. He basically opens up the round and proves that T side AWP is viable on Inferno. Most definitely. Let's see where he goes this time. He was before peeking towards middle. Once again, the same scenario here. As Spur, this time he won't peek it. He's going to play this one safe and even head into the apartments. Quite possibly could find the players. He's going to go aggressive. This is Spur, we know. Let's see if he can find. He's going to find one, but now they're going to push them. But there's another player ready already for it. And Captain, he did find Dodds and Banana. It looks like they're going to go just to that position. It's going to be only Bitcher there. They haven't started the rotation just yet. Flushed with the re-smoke in the middle. Now he's going to peek up, but there is AWP waiting for him. He has no idea that Spur can actually see him. I believe he has no idea. Although he's kind of shoulder peeking, but Spur, he's going to manage to find the kill. And now Bitcher, it's all on him. He's going to find Captain. There's going to be the one kill. They're going to look for more. And Husky, he's going to be the last man standing one against four. What a great defense from the player. He's going to push in. He could potentially find a player. He will find a player. He has to be careful. There are players from CT and from Banana coming in. One against three. Spur is low, but both of the players, Vist and Gaborg, they're 100 HP. Now he's going to be pushed in. Gaborg is going for the kill, and he'll manage to get it. 16 16. As two ops once again saved for Vaz Sports. The last round of forwards at number one, half number one. It looks kind of difficult now for Skin Lords. After, after that round, they get picked off really simple from Vaz Sports. Just easy wins by, by the duels. Yeah, this time around they were heading towards B and it did not work out in the end, so... Captain, he finds Gaborik. What was that from Gaborik? And there is Dodds and Spare with the kills back. Yeah, all doing all the work in the early rounds here. In the early rounds? This is overtime, man. <laughs> Let's see, so two against four. One more kill for Dodds as Flushed was still trying to peek. Still trying to peek. And here's going to be Husky with one kill. They're going to go out. This could potentially be around if Bitcher, if he can get the kills here, he could manage to win it. But with Husky with one more. And they're going to go even towards the A side. They're still missed in the apartments. And he, he will push out right now. He's going to see the player in instant headshot there. Elvis, can he clash this one against two? Well, if he's going to push through the smoke, it could not work out. But the bomb is planted for him. So he has nothing to worry about. The Molotov, will he get to him? It won't, so very lucky. Yeah, they have no idea where Elvis is actually, I believe. They think he is towards the library. He's gonna peek out, he's gonna get one kill, but there's still Dawes left. He knows what's up. The flash will come through, he's gonna even peek out for kill. No, the Molotov, he meant it for that. He, the Dawes can't win. Exactly, perfect spray from Elvis in the end. One against two, he managed to do it with the flash. I thought the flash was for peeking out, but no, the flash was just for him to throw down the Molotov. Yeah, that was so smart. Great move. See, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that no one has uh, 30 kills in this Yeah, every, game. everyone is like evenly chopping in into this one. 
So let's see the second half of begins. Skin Lords will play on CT side. That was the side that yeah, they yeah, and Klaski were with the this time around. So Skin Lords also opting for the double ops. First gonna move out and Husky. He's gonna find the kill spur looking for the aggression. Now the op will be picked up by Dodds. And I thought he's gonna re-peak and he will re-peak with the flash coming in. But Husky already managed to get away. Flash waiting for the players to come in short. And now is just gonna play balcony position. So they once again they leave Arch and Long open. And Husky has to be careful. But he could find the kills here. As Dodd's not checking this angle. Yeah, if he gets the now he's right. gonna get the up. Five against three now. He did, did see the player, but he goes down. Flashed as well, not peaking this position anymore. And let's see how he can find anyone. He did see the player short. Now the rotation yet to come in. As uh, Vazport, they're kind of quite about. It's going to be Elvis with one kill. He finds Bitcher. Why isn't Vista peaking? There's no pit? communication there, it seems like. Yeah, and Gabor will go down 18 to 6. Skinlords, they need only one more round to close this one out. Vazport with still three more. Yeah, and Spell with his relentless aggression once again yeah. getting caught off. Just jumping around in middle. He's going to go for the up one more time. So let's see. So Captain going towards B. Husky in the middle with the op could possibly find some kind of openings here. Let's see if that's going to be the case, but it's going to be Spur waiting. And yeah, they're just both going to play the waiting game here. Uh, so Sports, they take control of Banana. As uh, Rav with Captain, they get forced out real fast. So let's see Husky with the op. Could, okay, the smoke will kind of actually help him if the player decides to peek out. And he will, but Husky misses the shot. And now it's basically free for them to move in. They will, but Husky is still going to play from long. So let's see. LG, he's going to check out short. Will they push out? Yeah. Now they're pushing out. They're out of their shoulder, baiting. And Husky, he's just going to be real patient about it. He misses the shot, but they know where he is. And it's gonna, it was Spur baiting. He pushes forward. And Husky now, he now gets the kill. As Spur did miss it. Was he fully flushed? Let's he see. Was, There's yeah. going to be Elvis with the kill. Three more players left alive. He's going to be flushed with the kill. Two now. As Gaboric and Bitcher are now moving away from Banana. We're actually in the banana as they're going to go towards B site. It's going to be Captain and Rav waiting and Rav near the edge of the smoke. This could work out perfectly for him. The flash comes through. The players will come through as well. And there is Rav with one kill, but Captain with the second. 19 to 16 of Skin Lords in the end. They managed to take the Inferno. Yes. I, I actually was really thinking that it's going to be Vaz Sports in the end. What were our predictions? You said Skin Lords, I, I said, said Vaz no, Sports. I, I said Vaz. I believe you said even Skin Lords. No, other way around, I believe. I know, I know. I okay, predicted, at this I point, predicted. yeah, exactly. Yeah. The the the, the uh, we are so late now, uh, yeah, with all those overtimes and everything else. So yeah, now, but but the game like this is just pumping us up. Exactly. I, I believe like, exactly. There's there's one more great map ahead. Yeah, a cherry on the top. Train. So guys, don't go anywhere. Small break. The players will be will get ready, and then we're gonna head into the matchup between Skin Lords and Waz Sports. You spray, you trip. You're gold. Smell fresh all day with new Axe Gold Body Spray.
Hello and welcome back to the Vast Sports vs Skinlords after a great match on Inferno. Yes. We are now heading into train, the map we wanted to see almost from beginning. Uh, Skinlords, they're strong on train, they have uh, won all the games, Vast as well. Yeah, so let's remind the viewers as well. So Skinlords won against Vortex in the first week and yes. against the Baltic Elite in the second one. Yeah, And Vast Sports played, played against Refuse. Refuse. And did yeah. win the Refuse, that's a tough cookie to swallow. And they did it in the end, kind of convincingly even. Yeah, but someone is going to lose this time around. Exactly. So exactly. someone is getting their record broken. And see, definitely knife round, really important for both of the teams. I believe we are ready. Yeah, we will be soon. Only Raw left. I guess he went to the toilet. Okay, okay. That's understandable after the last matchup. Remember 19-16, <laughs> yeah. Skinner in the end taking it in the overtime. So was Sports at least getting one point from that first map. Definitely looking for a win here. Yeah, it's hard to tell if that's what they wanted. Yeah. If it is was after all, so... Exactly, I, I believe they, they won't be too happy about that. Yeah, if they lose this one as well, it's going to be crushing for them, I believe. Exactly, we'll see if there's going to be an overtime or regulation time victory here because I believe this should... Although, we kind of expected Inferno to be closer than Train. I don't know. It's hard to tell at the moment exactly. because this is the map that Husky and Rao with me played on Game On. Yes. Finals against Wasports and we got stomped. Yes. Really stomped. We even started on CT side. So this time around, it's it's hard to tell. Like, have ch things like changed? But we have uh, looking like Skin Lords. I really like their game style on Train. They're fast, they, they, didn't, they know where to look, the smokes yeah. are on point, everything just on point. Uh, but the same thing for us sports, yes. so they're just head to head. Let's see who's going to get here. Yeah, we are done. heading into the knife round right okay. now. Okay, we are ready for the game. Are you viewers ready for the game? You we definitely be. are. So let's see who's going to take it, who's not going to take it. As now the knife round will commence. Definitely want to start on CT side. As I spoke right after seconds, really important this, this round. Yeah, you want to bring the momentum with you and start on the CT one. But then as well, if you start on the CT and you lose the pistol, you can get like broken early. Your mentality can get broken early. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Skinlord that's going to start on CT side. They should switch. But maybe we can expect some kind of uh, surprise from Skinlords staying on T side. Maybe they feel more confident in their T side on train. That could I be the case because we have spoken before that uh, one of the teams that are really strong on uh, T side, it's Skinlords. 
They were like to play on T side, yeah, they were I guess really aggressive so. yeah, about it. They were like running out middle, they were playing slowly, taking the contact plays, they did do swap, okay. And then, but that was against teams like Baltic Elite and Vortex who are not too familiar with the map. Yeah. So this time around it's against the Wasp Sports, so you don't want to take any risks here. Let's see, both sides are ready, we can head into the pistol round. Skinlords versus Wasd. who can take it? It's going to be 1-1. Or is it going to be 2-0 for Skin Lords? Let's see what's going to be the case here. Yeah, instantly flush it going for that kit and smoke. Maybe trying to secure a smoke defuse later so on in the three round. Three players on B, two players on A. Looks like there is a vast sport. They just straight up route out on A side. Let's see, Husky has to be careful because their players already come from behind lines. Captain has already gone down. But Husky did hear the guy here is looking for the kill. He's gonna get one. He's gonna look for more. He's gonna take one more and he looks at the right position. But he gets taken down by Dodds. Bitcher did take down Ralph. So now two against three. Rita is gonna be Elvis with the kill as he now pushes forward. We're gonna both head uh, in the same tunnel. So let's see Gaboric with Dodds. Great positions. Can they take this one? Flash is still there with the kit. So if the players survive, they don't need to look for it. And Gaboric already seeing the player with the P250 looking for it. He's gonna get it. It's gonna be defused, but no. Gaboric with the last two kills. And was forced they take the pistol. And as you mentioned, if they start good on pistols, it could this could go south. So let's see if Antico victory is there for skin lords. Yeah, and this is an sure. interesting like Husky even got two kills from that position. Yes. He was like he he was dead to rise. Like, in, basically. Yeah. You can see this time they put only Elvis on B. You know, go to the A side, you can see was they just switch things up. Instantly running, they fake out A and they're running in the B side. I don't believe Elvis did hear something. I thought they're gonna round the world when I saw Spur going forward. It's gonna be here Elvis, he takes down one. Now station will come in. You can see how deep Vaz Sports are already in here. Let's see if Elvis can find one more. It's gonna be Vista with the kill. Now they're pushing out. Rav finds one. Rav looking for one more. Deagle kill is gonna be flushed, helping him out. So now two against three. As it's actually on the edge here for Vazd on the anti eco. It's going to be Spur with the kill against Flushed. This is such a chaotic Two round. against two. Who can say this one's going to be for Rav. Pushing forward, he's going to take down Vista. Only Spur will be left, but he goes aggressively. He did, did see Rav. Rav manages to survive. It's going to be 13 seconds left. He can defuse it. It, it. It's over if Spur doesn't peak this angle. He will peak it and it's going to be a kill. But a really expensive Rav for Vaz. Sports only managed to save the MAC-10. Lost the AK. Yeah, and it, you can see it was so smart that the plant was not in the default position. Yeah. Because Spur can play the after plant now from pushing forward. Did they, they all go Mac, all Mac 10s? This will be just a rush out from us sports, I believe. All the, the areas they're going to go towards Ivy. One player in A main is going to be Dodds now moving forward. He gets tagged up a bit, but just a bit as now they're moving on forward. He was spotted. But you can see, I believe the players will be heard coming out from the IV here. Let's see if Gaborik can find anyone. It's going to be Bitcher with one kill. Gaborik with a second. They just clean it up as the doll elves. He can't find the kill. Flushed was the one with the kill. And 3-0 quickly for West Sports. And now they're going to rebuy. So it's going to be AK coming out. How many Mac 10s will be saved here? It looks like Almost only none. one for spare. And there's an op for Captain already. So And Dot as well with the op. So see, he got, he because of the spawn position, he can go and uh, maybe battle someone here in the connector. Nobody peeks here just yet. Uh, even Captain here. Now, if he peeks out, he has to be real careful. He's going to be Dodds with one kill. Captain, now he is spotted. He has to switch his position. The Motel will come through. He's going to look for the player. He sees where the player is with the off. If now Dodds peeks out, it should be a kill for Captain. Let's see if that's going to be the case. He sees the guy. He still can't take the shot. It's going to be Elvis with one kill. Rob with the second. Captain misses the shot and Dodds takes him down. It's now going to be two against two. One more time. This is such a fast start from both of the teams. Let's and Rao is getting flanked. He's not expecting the flank. Oh, and yeah, Dodds with the Dodds. kill. Elvis last man standing. He will see the guy. He's going to take down Bitcher. And Dodds with 23 HP only left. He's going to peek it. He did see the guy there. So Elvis, if he peeks one more time to the left side, is going to be Dodds with the kill. And now he peeks out and Dodds finds it. So the buy round not working out. And Dodds, I have to say, four kills with the op. Yeah, and even Impressive. it's like all four at the moment. But all the rounds are so close exactly it's, and so oh my fast. god just yeah. like the battle flow, they're just point so hot going into this match damn so rav goes with the deagle Let's see if we can find anything we can see three mac 10s coming out from us sports they're just reading the game perfectly yeah and once again switching things up going towards b elvis in the same position they should be expecting him 
he goes yeah. over there. Two players just on time to come out. And here, Rao with the Deagle is going to find one, but not the next one. And now it's going to be Flash pushing out. But with the P250, he can't find too much. Husky is now rotating through CT. We can see Bitcher, he's going to even push. I believe no longer Captain will be left alive. Although he's playing carefully, he's going to be spurred with the kill. Husky, last man standing, he's just going to look for the exit. And he could find some. If they will check him, they will check him. It's going to be Husky with one kill. He picks up the Mac 10 and he's waiting for the player to come through. Bitcher, he's going to push him. And Husky, I believe he did hear the guy's going to be Bitcher with a kill. 5 0. Was for starting off strong. And like we were expecting this match for so long, we were saying like. We, we expected that only skin lords can yeah. take. If anyone, yeah. then skin lords. But if not them, then. Yeah, I don't the know. Just, just insta was, was, this against was. Yeah, and here comes the double be, op. That should be the case. So Captain and Husky. Captain's going to go towards the B side. Let's see, the players are heading towards B, so they're going to double. Although Elvis, will he go out as well? And wait patiently, wait. Let's see if Captain finds any luck here. Well, they drop down into drop zone. They're coming out. Drop. He's going to find one kill. He's going to look for more, but now here, flushed. With the M4, he could find a player here. He's looking for the kill. He almost kills off the off player. They're damaging him. But no, Rob, he left his position and Flush goes down. And he was seen looking. by Sparrow, I believe, there. From Sandwich position. Someone's checking him. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're still checking. They're going to see the head. They're missing the shots. And this time they won't miss. Elvis with Captain for the retake. Or will they even go for the retake? It's going to be Elvis with the kill. Ooh, okay, two against three. This could be doable. Captain takes down one more. Two against two. Now he did not see those there. And there is Elvis missing the Molotov. But now the... Oh, okay, both players peek out. Butcher in the end gets the kill. Yeah. Six so And just... this is exactly what was sports are like known for. I remember this perfectly. This is the same thing I was experiencing at the game on finals. There goes the first tactical timeout for Skin Lords. And... It just feels like you can't do anything against them. They yeah. just rush out. You kind of get the trades on, but it's not working out in the end. And mm -hmm. even with the double up for T side, they were yeah. two ups on those and Husky spare. lost it on Ivy almost instantly. Yeah, but on T side, there were all uh, also double ups. Oh, yeah, Dodds. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, spare Dodds and Dodds. So. This time they're not going for it, but they're going again for the. Mac 10. So once again, reading the game perfectly. They know what to do. Let's see if Skillers know what to do against them as they're now putting... Okay, they could go aggressively rush towards B. But they, almost always there's some players there. You can see they're rushing out and it's going to be Bitcher looking for the kill. It's going to be Husky with one, but there's Gaborg and they actually trade in favor of Skin Lords. Now they're pushing out. It's going to be Rav with one more kill. Beast, the last man standing. The pistols work out. So this time the aggression was stopped. I believe that, that because like they got the two kills and drops on it instantly just turns the game around. Let's see here, Vista, how much can he do? One against four, the smoking man, yeah. Let's see, will he get peeked on the other side? So Steven going away, so they don't know where Vista is because of that smoke. Yeah, he could do some damage here, maybe even take the round if he gets the timing. Did he not see him? I believe he might have not, but Vista with two kills already. Flushed with Captain left, you can see where Flushed is. Captain now coming from behind lines, this should be a round for Skinlord. Definitely is going to be killed for Captain in and the end. And he gets the op. As well, and so. Flushed did not manage to find any weapons, but they do have the money for the buy, so you should not worry about that. And was sports with all those rounds, they are still having the money. Although Vista, he's kind of low on funds, he needs to get the drop. He will be dropped, and we can see after this round, the money could be broken for Swast. So this guy is definitely on the right Lords foot. As well. Exactly so. here, I believe Husky got kind of disrupted by Rav there, but Rav in the end at least gets the kill back. Husky won't be that mad, but there goes Elvis, as now they're going to come into the side. The Ray will come through, and there's Bitcher with the kill. He found the player. Husky is checking the upper. They're going to take control of B. You can see how far out, and I think Bitcher did even and tag Husky. 49 HP left on him. Ross still waiting, and I believe he will hear the bomb rotate. And he has to be careful, because there's still Vista coming. Did not hear the guy. They know that they're in B side. Looks yeah. like they want to save. Yeah, already they are saving. They know that they will not have money for the next round if they lose this one. So yeah, the thing is that Elvis is playing so one-dimensional all the time on the B, just yeah. going upper all the time. I don't know why. We remember him playing on the trains, playing on the side, yeah. playing uh, near the oil train also, yeah. So he should sw switch it up, I guess. Definitely. Because like from you, you can check the upper when you have the buy rounds and everything else. You can basically check the upper from uh, 
the end of the site, just boost it up on the top platform, just waiting yeah. there. If the smokes come out, you can switch this you can switch the position, see the players dropping down. Still, there should be a player in sight. Yeah, the thing Definitely. is, I don't know why is he not doing the usual like shoulder peek towards like uh, B apps, I would say. Yeah. So if you see someone, yeah, you call in rotation, you play it safe, but he's always trying to challenge them. But Vaz Sports there as well, they're really fast there. They, yeah. they push it there, they get the control of the apps, they don't allow skin lords to yeah, get but there. At you can this see point, one more time. if you are skin lords, you should be expecting that one. Yeah, and you can see what Captain is doing, the same thing as we were just talking about. Waiting on the platform, there is Spurk, he finds Elvis. Shoulder peak. Damn, that was real fast. But there's Captain with the kill back. Now they're gonna move into the side. But it looks like they want to peak. It's gonna be Husky with one more kill. As he came in down from connector and found spur. But now they're going towards the A site. They're coming out. And let's see Husky. He should find the kills here. Though they're already are missing from Husky's angle. He can't find them. The bomb will come closer. Let's see if Dots can find anyone. There you're gonna see Rav there on the edge of side. Husky is gonna find Gaboric. Dots last man standing. One against four, still waiting the push, and if the push will come, and Ravi's gonna get the kill. Two, seven. Uh, but as you mentioned, this is a CT sided map. And seven rounds, they're skilled basically. At this point, it's hard to tell because both of these teams are very good on either, either of the sides. Yeah. And you can just see those double ops saved coming into play here, taking the round. So now it's a reset for Wasports, and they have such a scrappy buy now. See Spur, he goes out in the middle, he's gonna find the first one, but there's Captain to trade at least. So three players run out, and Rav instantly going towards the Pop Dog. Looks like they've to decide it, and Husky finds the player Vista in the Ivy. When Smoke will come through, you know, I think Gaboric has too much luck here. Oh, he can't see through there too much. And the players are still in main, you can see Dodd still trying to find the opening. V Pitcher still waiting for the aggressive push. The skin lords are known for not pushing out, but there's Husky with the kill. Only two players will be left alive. Skinlord's kind of bringing this one back at the 10th round. As the next round will be an eco for Vazd. Yes, definitely. And the Butcher dropping in with the flash. Not finding anyone just yet. Let's see, two against four. We've seen this weapon in Vista's hands be really dangerous. Could quite possibly maybe here get killed. It's going to be a Ravi to kill on Butcher. And on the other side, I believe Captain just... Oh no, it was Husky who spotted the player and now he takes him down. 3 to 7, and let's see what's, what, what sports can bring into the eco round. Yeah, and that actually is like jokingly the PUBG kind of weapon, the nearest yeah. weapon uh, that is similar to PUBG here in CSGO. So, yeah. we can. Oh, yeah, right. Everyone yeah, is players, joking around. Basically. Yeah, the players who are playing with this one are the PUBG players. So Okay, so you know, Vist and Gaboric likes it. They're playing yeah. PUBG. So, let's see, they're actually going to go towards Ivy with this rush. Husky has to be real careful, he has to hear it at the right time. And he will here, he's gonna find one kill. Instantly switches up his position. Now there's flash ready, the Mozart will come through and already kill off the players. One kill there, looking for more, but they don't see anyone through the flames. As we can see how far already the players have gotten, but there's Captain with the kill with the up. They're now with the pistols even, back, ch trying to challenge them. Gabor, a classman standing, and there's Elvis coming from B side, taking down the player four to seven. Yeah, this is very crucial that they did not lose anyone there. Everyone survives, playing it safe, building up that money. Because every single round matters at this point. Exactly. On train, like the game didn't change so fast. Let's see, I think Spur won at the fast peak, but he got blocked by his teammates. Looks kind of irritated. Let's see, yeah, so no, no luck for him at the moment. His Malta will come through, but two players are now pushed in, and they're now coming out from already from the Pop Dog. You were talking about them just running out, and they're doing just that with the smokes. Drop down, let's see what Rav can do here. He's getting pushed. Will he change his position? It's going to be Elvis with one kill. What can Rav do here? He's still waiting in the smoke. It's going to be almost all the side cleared out. He's still waiting. He manages to hide. He's going to find one more player and one more Rav. He waited for so long in the smoke. Damn, that was such a good play from him. Just going through the smoke, getting backstabbed. Like backstabbing was sports yeah. when they are entering. They did not expect that one. Yeah, and that was a buy run for us sports. Yeah. It did not work out. So skin lords, they have kind of cracked the code here. Yeah, I guess so. And now back to pistols. And actually, that was the infamous smoke we were checking before the game and finals as well, yeah. near the electric box. And we did not know how to deal with that one. So Rao has cracked the code in this. You just have to be in smoke. And here, Husky, he pushes even forward and he finds the kill. Now, let's see, it's gonna be Dodds with the Deagle finding one, but Rav is there to get the player killed off. And now, whoa, Rav. What Yo, was yeah, that? Rav, yeah, Rav, we know, we, we know you're good, but you don't need to brag. Damn. Impressive. 
six to seven. Skimmer is bringing wow. this one back. I'm kind of surprised after the beginning of this map. Yeah. The skin lords have managed to get their mental state together and everything else because it has to be crushing. Just getting run down like that. I guess so, rounds. yeah, but yeah, skin lords just Oh my god, this is I'm still blown away with that one one tap from Rao. Yeah, he managed to find player and now flushed he did not see the player there, but the Molotovs come in. The Molotov all the side. Husky from here. Okay, it's gonna be Rao with one more kill from the upper switch his position. He does, doesn't check the other angle from Popzol, but Captain is there to check it for him. Let's see, Flushed, he was not ready for players to come all around the trains. Let's see, now two against three, Elvis will go down as Captain's gonna be last man standing. He misses the shot, now they know where he is. Let's see if he can manage to do anything, and he does not see the player on the other side. It's gonna be Dodds with the kill. Eight to six as we head into the last round of the first half. We can see Skinner's there, the money is there. They will go one more time for the double up setup. It was working out before. Husky, this time he didn't have any any luck in the IV position. Yeah, well, let's see I, how they And I think out Raul here. was expecting the, sm the smoke to be laid there near the bomb site, so that is why he was not checking uh, to the left of him when he got down from the heaven. You can see here Husky, he pushes out, he sees the first player, managed to get spare and gets away, and he could find the other kill here. He will only Gaboric now with Bitcher will be left alive. Gaboric is still looking for the kill. He's getting shoulder picking and will kill all flushed. So shoulder pick not working out, Gaboric getting the bomb, and now two against four. Yeah, uh, Husky in the, in the uh, upper B, in the apps there, just managing to get two kills, really crucial. Finding the rush, since was this just wanted to maintain the control of B apartments, and Husky just denies it. Yeah, but it's it interesting instantly. that, okay, now he switches up it, and he is checking the lower... And Husky, he's gonna find Bitcher, still Gaboric left, 37 HP, but there's Elves with the kill, 7 to 8. In the end, Skin Lords bring it at least this close because I remembered last time that they played it. Yeah, teams even switching with a good half. But because this was a good yeah, half. This, this was a good one. Amazing. So let's see now, Skin Lords on T side. So you, you, you know some insights. What, what, what could be the case here against Vaz Sports? Well, let's just wait and see. I have to see the utility. What's the plan? Flushed, going for what? Yeah, I think it's the nothing. The usual one. Okay, he is smoking towards A. I thought it's gonna be the B. Three B players push towards again. Ivy. They get information. Let's see what can Vista do here. He's looking for the kill. He will find Elvis. Now the players are coming out from the top. Vista still looking for the kill. The players drop down, but they have taken the site. They will be able to plant a bomb. And we'll see now, Rav waiting close range, the same for every other player. And we can see Husky, he's just waiting for players to come around. Yeah, and he has the molly, he wants to ensure that the plant bot, will he be checked? He now he gives dies. Away his position, the basically all he's waiting straight. for the player to come through, Bitcher. He, okay, they take him down, flushed, he's gonna take down one, but he's gonna be the last man left standing, and he gets taken down from all the positions possible. Nine to seven will be the score as well as sports. One more time, take the pistol round. This look, I realized, so they pushed an IV, three players, yeah. put one player in A, put one player in B, and even then managed to go for the retake as Skinners, they, kind of, they were pushing in B really fast. Yes, they did not have anything, and Husky was called off with the only Molotov, trying to maybe ensure that, that that's their plan, but yeah, he was run over by two guys there. And, and he was waiting dots. to catch out the player. The okay. man. The myth, the legend, let's see where he's going to go with this one. Could he possibly... Oh, really? Really, this is the play. This is the play. Let's see if Huskin can find the guy. Not pushing out, and he's going to get taken down. This this yeah, is just bad manner. This is so tilting. For, Captain, for he does find one. Bitcher finds one, but Flush is there, so the double peak working out. Let's see, Gaboric, he knows where the players are. He's going to take down Rav. He did not catch the player who was pushing on the blue train. And yeah, look at Dodds. He's on the flank already. And he will get Captain here. No problem there. Flushed last man standing. One against four. So they did not force completely this round after they got the bomb plant. So they will have the buyer next round. Yeah, and Flushed is gonna get the off, I believe. He Flushed has how money. he's gonna get the off and dodge there, although he gets the kill, what I'm talking about. And now one against two with 10 HP. This he has the smoke. He could still smoke it out, maybe try to do a gimmicky play here. What, what is, is he, he looking? doing? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, what is this? They're gonna smoke it for him <laughs> in the gimmick play. And now with the smoke coming out, he's going for the kill, but no, Gaboric managed to get kill, two kills from him. 
and now 10 to 7 as now the skin lord is going to go for the buy round flash can go for the up but i believe he should probably drop it let's yeah. see with his Do position Rav? Rav. yes okay, he oh, no. drops it towards captain they okay. passed it it was kind of surprise as well for me <laughs> Rav with the up you don't see it too often do you yeah only with a good spawn i, I guess let's see here dodds he does not manage to find a player although he managed to survive and now spur doing spur things yeah Let's see, he could possibly find and the player here. And there's no one Captain. checking for that one. Oh, he, okay, now he's going to now drop in. He's going to see the player here. He's going to look for oh the kill. Oh my god, this is so awkward. This is going to get one only. There was a good chance for him to even survive that one. That was an in interesting trade there. As now let's see. Skin Lords, what are they setting up for? Captain finds Dodds. So a site is now a bit more open with only three players from Vaz Sports alive and only two on it. And let's see, Gabor, he does find Captain. They're good flick. So three against three. Let's see if Husky can manage to find Gaboric here with Tiop. They're going to pick up the bomb. And let's see, Husky's just patiently wait. Rav gets tagged up. Now Husky's going to push on forward. He's going to see the player with Gaboric on point. Catching out the players. Looks like they still want to take the A side, but you can see how far they are rotating. But Gaboric, he knows where to look. It looks like both of the players will be there. They're setting up for A smoke. Yeah, this is so good for Gaboric. He knows the target is clear now, so he's taking the long angle. He is going to see players crossing, but he gets smoked off, so now someone is forced to rotate around. Bitcher is for, forced to rotate, yeah, through connector. Now with the up, let's see, is there going to be any luck? Rob with the kill. There's still one more player in connector. Vista, he's not pushing just yet. Now he pushes out. He's going to find flushed here, and Rob, he's going to be the last man standing. With the up, Gabor, will he peek out? Rob, he has to play really careful. He did just miss the player. Yeah, but now he knows where the op is, so... Let's see here, he almost takes down Vista, 29 HP. The smoke will come through, he's looking for the kill. He damages the second player as well, and there is Vista with the kill. Right on the smoke, he finds the player, 11 to 7. As we can see, Skinlords haven't managed to take a round here on T side just yeah, yet. But even in a, such a close round like that, they managed to get a plant, make it competitive yeah. enough, maybe even take that one. Okay, this time around it does not go Rao's favor, but the intention is there, definitely. Yeah, and now they are forced back to pistols and armor, so this could set up was for the whole half if they manage to survive with maybe five players or four. See, instant mods up. And Rahav was looking for the kill with Ziga, but he's gonna burn down and nade it down. Now Husky with the flash, he could possibly drop in, but there is Dodds what? with the kill. Very lucky for him, Gaboric finds one of the players, and now he only needs to find Captain, who is pushing towards Ivy. That's gonna be a kill for Gaboric. They have given the op to Gaboric, not Spur, and it's working out perfectly for him. Yeah, that's true, actually. Just Gaboric on point with it. I'm really impressed. Maybe, yeah, they've decided since Spur was so aggressive on Inferno, so active, he didn't get the ball rolling. Maybe to give the automated rifles to him and maybe uh, let Gaboric play with the op. So let's see now, Captain is with the op. He's going to go out and look for the opening kill on the stop sign. No one's there just yet. We can see Dodds. And so far and one more time he gets the kill and there's the AK dropped and we can see here captain what can he do here he's gonna get pushed he doesn't know that there's the guy on this angle let's see if he can get the flick and push out oh, yes Cap that, that is captain damn. that is captain Elvis he did find the one player in the drop zone now they're gonna push out forward it's gonna be Gaboric with one kill they know that he's in Ivy at least but he's still waiting for players to come out of a yeah, main and who's gonna pick into who will Gabor Gaboric decide to pick this one or is captain pushing forwards and we still changed up his position to a better one getting into and Gaboric, heaven he finds captain and you can see where spare is already going backstabbing elv is still waiting with you up looking if he can find the kill but you can see how Gaboric just knows it this should be a knife for spare please he's looking oh, for no okay. he turns around but he even gets the kill so flush last man standing one against three he has to be careful Gaboric is there peeking with the op gonna head out he could possibly find a player here spur who's jumping up and down and he gets taken down as now one against two we can see where yeah vista is just waiting in the office Gaboric with the op looking yeah, and the plan crosses. now is he's timing it perfectly so maybe someone from what rotate towards b but it it is not working out and How here's he Gaboric ran, with yeah. the kill 13 to 7 Sports looking to close this one out soon. 
as now it's going to be one more time. It looks like an eco round for Skinlord is going to be 14 to 7. At that point, Skinlord, they need a miracle because of all of us sports, they are the kings of train, I have to yeah, say. Yeah, Definitely. at this point, it looks like no one is going to challenge them. So for any players watching, definitely remember Vaz Sports, they just train. Yeah, you, just you, instaban that you, one. You, you know what's up. You, you've seen the games. You have been warned. <laughs> exactly. You see Dodds even being real aggressive, not tagging anyone with the nades, manages to get out, but still going to wait here. Although Rav trying to push out, he's going to be captain with one kill. And Elvis as well with one, but Spur, he managed to get right on back of him. Husky, last man standing, but he's, he's one against two. Uh, probably he won't find any weapons to play with, so he has to stick with CZ. Only 14 bullets in total. And two players, full armor, head armor. This is going to be a tough one. But you can see here, Vista, he's waiting just near the drop zone. Could possibly hear something, but Husky is going to make it as quiet as he possibly can. And there is some weapons here. So let's see, yeah, there's an MP9. He has check uh, close range as Vista is now checking A main. Now let's see if he can get the flick here. Husky pushing up, you can see the player, but that's going to be the kill from Vista. 12 HP, he survives. And now 14 to 7. Yeah, that was actually closer than it's seen because Gabarik missed his shot towards Husky. And if yeah. he took down Vista, then it would be a one on one situation there. Then it would be M4 for Husky. And Husky had like, I believe, 100 or a bit less HP. Yeah, and around 40 seconds left, so. Once again, looking out for Captain to do the hero plays with the Ops. They are rushing out right now. And they are, and Ravi is going to take down one, but there's Spare pushing out. He goes down, although there is still Bitcher just doing job, but he takes down only two. And you can see Dots, he's already rotated. He's already in the pop dog. Vista playing from the C, playing from Connector, and then goes out. Dots takes down Flash. The bomb plant is denied, and Vista, he has time to rotate around. So now two against yeah, and two. And now even Dots can rotate and around. He if finds he Rav. Only Husky will be left alive and Dots pushes out. Just a perfect play from Vaz Sports. They time it perfectly. And Skinners, they just didn't know where to look at that point because so yeah. fast as Sports, they came into sight and they pushes through the smoke. Everything works out. Yeah, they are not playing the default. Okay, we're all paused that much, so. Okay, we're all was le I guess we're all was not instructed about how to take timeout, so he just paused it. I don't know. So I believe this is this is kind of like a tactical timeout for them. It could them. be the case here. I, I I'm guessing uh, since they know that uh, like like we know that the top four will be really close, they need a small round difference as they possibly can yeah, get. Yeah, that, that's actually that true. could be the case. Oh, they're so looking yeah, for. captain timed out. So that is why it's actually a technical one. So yeah, yeah. Okay, the thing that that's bothering me kind of for skin lords is that they are not taking control of B of B apps, I would say, early yeah. on. So there's always someone flanking either Spur or Dodds at this point, even with an AWP yeah, flanking exactly. and getting Dropping two kills. Dropping talents, drops on, just no fear there. Yeah, so I would maybe suggest them doing that, going towards some default play, trying to open things up maybe one by one, because there is always Spur or Dodds pushing the B, B side, so. Almost every single round, but at least now Skinners, they have the buy round, they have to figure things out really here, like, like I, I, as you mentioned, never, the yeah. B apps, uh, Dodds, let's see if he's going there with the op, Gaboric, it's really hard to challenge, challenge uh, like, ch challenge Gaboric, I, I just don't know yeah, he what has, has gotten been into, into on that point guy. Towards the IV, definitely. And yeah, this switch between Gaboric taking the op and not spare is working out tremendously. Now the unpause comes, Captain is back in, so we're back live into the game. See, Captain, he goes for Gallo, the rest have the AK, let's see if any set plays come through. Double up is ready on the side of Vazd, so let's see how this one goes through. Already instantly smoking off A, and now the nades will be forced out, but they're not going towards A, they're going towards the apps. They have only one player there waiting in B. Let's see if that's going to be the case. The bitcher is already waiting close range. It looks like that's going to be the case here. He so yeah, here guys it, there. It looks like they heard me and they are taking control of B now. So they you are. See, this time, Vast Sports, they didn't even push it. And Vast Sports took the control of team main now. So Flash 
He's in a pickle, I would say. No, oh, he's gonna get spurned. He manages to get away. But now if they're pushing in, Dodds finds flushed in the end there. But now the uh, smokes come through the Molotov as well. They're running through the Molotov. And Vista is looking for the kill. He's gonna find one. So three more players to find. As you can see here, Husky is pushing forward. He's gonna get the kill against Butcher. Oh no, that was Vista. Elvis found Butcher. And now it's gonna be two against three. Two ops for the retake. They see the head, they take down Elvis. And now they're gonna move on forward. Can they find the players? One player is on the train. Husky is waiting there. And yeah, Ralph. and Ralph has a nade and a molly. So, okay, but there's a small on Gaboric. So, this is going to be an interesting one. How this one plays out. And trying to make as much noise. Gaboric Husky misses gets the one. shot. Dots, he's still alive. Husky is going to find the kill. Three kills in the end. They managed to take the round eight to five. So, let's see what's going to be the case here. So, they still managed to buy on the side of us. Sports, they're going to go for the eco. They have nothing to rush here. Yeah, but this still... Okay, Captain did not turn no, on his anti-cheat and he drops down and they didn't pause the game. Oh, oh, okay. This is this is on them. Let's see, because Vaspor, they decided to force and there is Spur with the op coming live, taking the kill, Rav pushing out. He does not check a lobby where there are one player, two players even see the guy in the side. He has to be careful. There is now one more player pushing out and Elvis is going to take him down. So now three against two. Let's see what's going to be the case. If he sees the head of the player, the player even goes up. He knows where the guy is. He has to be real careful about it. Really fast with his movement. You can see where already Gaboric has put himself. Elvis with the kill. Spur goes down. So let's see Gaboric. What can he do here? He can find Husky here and he will. Elvis, last man standing. He's going to get the kill there. But there's still Vista. And it's going to be Elvis in the end who managed to get the kill. And Captain should be back any moment now for the real round to begin. Yeah, they did the pause now. Captain is back in. Phew, I would say for a captain, like... Yeah. That's a misplay on his side, like not turning on his anti-cheat when he comes back, so... So at the moment, Skinner, they have 26 round difference. So they are making as big as possible. Uh, as I was saying, you know, you know, the ties, we are basically all... No. We're going to be in the next week, after next week, we're going to be in the middle of the tournament. So we're still not even in the middle because no, nine weeks, yeah. we're not even in the middle. The fifth week, yeah, is the middle part. Yes, yeah, so. Skinner's already thinking about that. I, I at least think so, but they could go for the yeah, but tie it, here in overtime. This could work out, but... Yeah, you just have to grind out the rounds. There's yeah. nothing more you can do. And even was like having only pistols now, so... You can actually climb it back, I would Husky, say. He misses the first opening shot. He has to be careful now. There are two players in the Ivy. He will manage to get Dodds. And Gabor, he's going to push all the way around. Well, let's see. Can Husky find a player here? No, there's still Elvis now with the kill. And let's see. Gabor, he could go for the kill. He could find it. They have to be careful. Vista with the Deagle. Almost finding the player. Um, I think he does see legs there on the edge of the smoke, but with this other smoke, it's going to be real difficult. They will push in. Kabor looking for the kill, but it's going to be Husky with one. Spurs still waiting in the pop dog. If he's going to get, oh, he's going to get naded out and forced out. That's going to be nade 10 to 15, as now the Byron will come in for Vast Sports, although not the best one. Yeah, and this is actually interesting. If they lose this one, they are back to forcing, back to like once again ecoing. So, as. As a Latvian player, independent would say, this is a crucial round. This is an important one to take. Definitely. So let's see, Butcher, he's going to go towards with the scout towards Ivy or maybe checking the A main. We can see here no one pushing out there just yet. It's going to be Flash trying to open up Ivy. You can see Dodds, if he just pushes out, he's going to get taken down. Captain is ready. Let's see if that's going to be the case. He will try to push out. He did not see anyone there. And here trying to get the kill, but he looks like he should get killed, but he even damages. Husky there, he's still coming out, he's gonna get the kill, are you? two kills, Dodds, what are you doing? This is just not what's supposed to happen in the pop dog, what is going on? And now they're pushing and they're gonna get Captain. Whoa. Damn guys, not like this. Yeah, Dodds, just, like how can you play on stairs that well? Does he practice going service and go for stairs, Damn, but it's gonna yeah. be Gaboric with the last kill, 16 to 10. In the end, Vaz Sports managed to take it. It at the be at the end. It looked like a close one. Yeah, it looked like Skinlords are pulling their strings back. Yeah, and maybe doing a comeback. But yeah, in the end, Dodds with just an insane play towards Pop Dog. I, how how can you actually even do that? that yeah, that, and that, that is the round that loses them.
the game. Exactly, and I'm thinking about, like, you know, they put up a good fight, but yes. probably for they're still the kings. Yes. There's no way someone can take them down now. No I don't believe there's... that one, yeah. This is just insane. But, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the day number... Okay, just I'm stop not... counting. Oh, Week three 18. of Counter Strike. 18. Okay, exactly. nice. So, thank you for watching. I want to remind you, head to Hypertown dot pro to check out what's going to happen in the land events uh, so you can get the tickets at the best price still 12 days left so you can get the tickets and tomorrow we're going to have some action as well but uh, the csgo will be live at 9 p.m yes. because the first uh, two games will be from league of legends yes. so be sure you can check that one out as well uh, be sure to tune in we can check what has happened today maybe so ju just a small recap just yeah. a small recap Why not? on the schedule Will we see it any moment now? So we had uh, who was playing? I can't even remember. Oh, uh, who HGR was Esports versus Team Refuse. Yes. Now I can see it. Uh, they went one one once one one. The, that that was I believe a great victory for HGR Esports. Yeah. Sports. Finally clinching a map win against a big dog of Refuse. Yeah. Exactly. And, and just now Skin Lords versus Wasp Sports. So Skin Lords are. Up for the task, Definitely. they are here to challenge. Yeah, and tomorrow, as you were saying, at nine o'clock, aesthetic versus not like this. The yes. two bottom teams, but still fighting for the chance of yeah. not going out in the first season. And exactly. here we can see the standings, the overall, what has happened until now. So yeah, Skin Lords still in the lead with 14 points, but Team Refuse, they're just not, they're just knocking on the door. Vazd, Vortex, both 12 points. Malko, it's in. Yeah, and you can just see the like top part getting stacked with points. Like even Malco and Supply challenging for for those four positions. I would yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. We're gonna have, see what how the week ends tomorrow. But for now, thank you for watching. Remem remember to subscribe. I'm Envy. This is Gecons. See you tomorrow. Wave. Thank you.